Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I don't know about you, but when I hear the term sweet picking, the first thing that comes to mind is metal and shredding. Sweet picking is a technique that is definitely most often associated with players that like to shred, guys like Jeff Loomis, Jason Becker, Ingve Malmsteen, you get the idea. Now, I'm definitely not a metal player and I wouldn't really consider myself a shredder either, but I do find myself adding in little mini sweeps here and there in blues and rock solos because that's generally what I like to play. And I'm not talking about five or six string arpeggio sweeps. I'm just talking about little three string sweeps based on major or minor triads that sound like this. This is one of my favorite little expressive techniques to use when I'm soloing. So here's how you do it. We'll use a root position C major triad on the second string set. If you don't know what that means, um, you're probably familiar with this C major bar chord shape. So what you want to do there is take the notes on the D, G and B strings and voila, now you have a C major triad and you should use this fingering for it. Position your pick like this so it's at an angle with the strings and not parallel to them. Pick the D string with a downstroke and continue to move your pick downwards so that it slices through the G and B strings. So you're basically going down, down, down on the D, G and B strings and your pick is sort of leaning against the string so that it's just ready to slice into the next one. You're not doing a downstroke, waiting, and then doing another downstroke and another one after that, you are literally sweeping that pick through those three strings. So practice that motion until you're comfortable with it. And I'd recommend when you first attempt to do this to just forget about the actual notes. So just try this with muted notes, just try going down, 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 and practicing that sweeping motion on the D, G, and B strings. Then once you're comfortable enough with that, you could start adding in the notes. But for now, here's what that looks like with just muted strings. Now about your fretting hand, the trick to making sweep picking sound clean and not sloppy is to lift your finger off the string immediately after you've picked it. If you leave your finger on that fret for too long, it's gonna ring out into the other notes and it's gonna sound more like you're slowly arpeggiating a chord rather than sweep picking an arpeggio or a triad. It would sound like this. But what you really want to be hearing is nice, clean, isolated notes. To practice this, you could actually just forget about your picking hand altogether and just work on fretting those notes individually on the fretboard like this. Then after a decent amount of time practicing both of those things, the sweeping motion of your picking hand and the fretting of the individual notes, when you combine both of those things, you can start to think about creating licks of your own using that technique. To help get you started with this, I've come up with a few licks of my own for you to practice at home. Here's lick number one. <laughs> Here's lick number two. Those first two licks use downstrokes, but of course you can use upstrokes for sweet picking licks as well. So here's an example of that in lick number three. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on many sweet picking licks that you can use in your blues playing. If you want to know more about triads, which is what we were using to play a lot of those licks there, then check the link in the description. I've got a 50% off coupon for my online course, Bulletproof Guitar Player. It teaches you all about triads, how they're constructed, how you can use them in your playing, um, not just your lead playing, but your rhythm playing as well, as well as a whole bunch of other music theory concepts that you can actually apply to your guitar playing. Just recently passed 3,000 students worldwide. Very happy to say that. So 
If you're watching this as someone who has enrolled in the course already, I hope you're enjoying it and thanks so much for your support. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and click subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.